you're probably wondering why I'm down here, and you're probably wondering why you've just seen a load of boxes. Well, GT Amiga have decided to send me a review unit of their new Prime rig. Um, we have a lot to build. Uh, let me get out of the box first of all. On th this video is all about first impressions. We will do a full review on this uh, in a month's time. So we'll use it for a month, and I'll give you my true, honest opinion, as I always do. But uh, yeah, I think it's time to get it out of the boxes and uh, let's have a look at actually what we have. Now, I'm sat on the floor now because it's the only way I can position the camera. But there is quite a lot of stuff here, I've got to be honest. Now, here is the RS09C. Obviously, you can buy this um, all the time from GT Amiga. It's kind of nice that the seats are interchangeable. I think that's kind of cool. Um, so, RS09C is to go with... Let me get out of the way for you. This, which is a lot of kit. There's a lot of stuff in this, I've got to say. Um... What I will do is I'm actually going to time myself building this. I'm going to have a five-minute break from getting all that stuff out because it's rather heavy. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'll have a five-minute break, and then we'll see how we go about building this. i say this is first impressions. First impressions are it's very solid. I've got to be honest. It is very, very solid. Now, this is a review unit, so it's in silver. The actual unit will come in black, but I'll talk about what you actually get uh, at the end of the video in terms of the differences between the two. But in terms of materials and everything, that is all the same. Um, so, yes, let's actually do a, a little bit of a stock check, to be honest, because we have this, which is all the bits and bobs. And um, we'll just make sure we've got everything, and then we'll, uh, we'll we'll kick off with the build. I'll put a little timer on as well and see how long it actually takes us to build this uh, very sturdy, I've got to say, uh, sim rig. So there you can see, 13.44 on the clock. Let's kick off this build in fast forward. You get a timer down at the bottom there as well. So, as I said, it's a very sturdy, or felt very sturdy, and I can tell you it is sturdy by the time this is built. Now, one thing that was a little bit frustrating initially, uh, and you'll see I do quite a lot of adjustments here, is just trying to work out how these go together. Because you'll notice that there's three lines, or four lines in some of these cases, um, in each piece of metal. And basically, you're inserting the thing you're going to screw into. I'm not sure what the parts are called. Um, so it's like ultimate adjustment, should we say. You can move it anywhere and any amount of space. Now here, you can see, I'm, I'm trying to work out how big is the chair. And, th and this is kind of a problem to me, because as I was doing this, I'm like trying to measure it to make sure that when the chair goes in, it's fine, and I don't have to do any adjustments. You can see I put, brought the chair on there, uh, and still, I'm just trying to work it out. You notice there, I got it slightly wrong, so if I take the chair off, put it back on again, still trying to work it out. So, for me, there needs to be some change there, potentially, uh, at least a little help or guidance, or maybe include a tool which does the exact gap of the chair because I think in a lot of situations while you don't get the RS9 chair with this rig it's a separate add-on um, you know their seats are interchangeable amongst all their rigs so it'd be something nice to do there uh, but we eventually get it on as you can see here um, it took a while to get on you saw it took basically an hour to get that seat on and, and right uh, and now we're looking at uh, the next part here which is obviously where the the wheel stands going to go essentially as we put that up right there Two and a half hours in now. Uh, I was getting quite exhausted at this point, actually. Um, and again, it's all this adjustability because now, obviously, each side is going to be a tiny bit different in terms of you've got to match them up exactly. You can see that I'm just getting the wheel stand up. I do eventually lower that by the time the wheel um, goes on uh, as we're now three hours into this. Um, so let me look at getting the pedals on. This was the easier part, uh, in my opinion. Uh, this was fairly straightforward. Uh, it was just about getting them in the right distance. And again, I changed the pedals uh, the, the way the pedal set up as well. You see, I'm just testing it there. Um, so at this point, obviously, we're getting towards the end of this initial build, and I'm just building now the gear shifter mount there. As you can see, I'm just trying to get it adjusted uh, appropriately. But the hardest bit here, in my opinion, was the seat. Getting the seat sorted was really hard. Let's jump to myself now uh, as we finish the build. So guys, I have a very strangely lit face because obviously I've tried to keep the lights on this. Um, it is 17.37, I'm pretty sure I showed you the clock at 
1344 maybe something like that uh straight after jimmy's stream basically so that's taken what's that 1444 1544 1644 nearly four hours of uh building um few frustrations in there um these plastic things are very annoying so i've technically not finished because i've not applied all these plastic bits you can see them up here um but basically they go and you know they cover the ends of the metal basically um it's a very sturdy rig i've got to say um it really is a sturdy rig um i'll obviously well technically it will be the four hours won't it after i've done all these but i'm gonna have to disappear now so um what I'm going to do is uh, I will jump to myself in a second, obviously, because this is the build bit uh, finished. And I'll give you some of my sort of first impressions of the rig. Um, I'll have obviously put all the cables on and added the equipment to it as well. Uh, and then we can go from there. So, yes, I'm in the rig now. It's all set up. So I am now going to use this for one month. My rig is uh, not that one. It is... Over here, there we go. That's the old rig over there. I've got a monitor stand for that to put on it, to be honest. Um, but I will use this rig for a month now, and I will um, see what it's like. And then give you a full, honest review, of course, at the end of that month. I don't believe you can review a product in a day or even in a week because I, I think you've got to give it a proper good use. A month seems like a, a really good time. It's four weeks of racing, um, and then we can go from there. So my, my final thoughts with this then, my first impressions, because this is what it's all about. Uh, I've written some notes here just so I remember to say everything. In terms of the rig, it is super sturdy, okay? Like, literally, <laughs> I, I've never had a rig this sturdy in my life. Like, moving it, nothing flexes, nothing, like, literally... It, I turned on its side to do the, the bottom under the the metal, the plastic bits that I've talked about. There was no flex there at all. Very easy to move. Very heavy. I accidentally landed it on my foot as well during all of that. Um, so absolutely sturdy, which I think is quite nice, to be honest, in terms of there's no flex there. Um, you know, I talked about, you know, what, the way you screw in and the, uh, and the adjustability. Where you've not used that to screw in, it's actually really nice to hide cables. Obviously, you can see the wheel is attached now. Um, I hid cables all inside. It's actually really nice for that. I've, I never thought about it. I was just organizing the cables. I was like, oh, I didn't go in there. So now it's even tidier than any other rig I've had because I do do cable management anyway in terms of putting little cable t uh, cable ties and, and cable holders together. I don't have to do it with this. I have put a couple on, to be honest, just to get the lining perfect. But down the side, you just chuck the cable and it's happy days. Actually, happy days. Uh, which is kind of nice, to be honest. You know, these are all good points, I suppose. Um, it does feel a bit bigger than my rig. In fact, it is bigger than my other rig, to be honest with you. Um, it only just fits under this part of the desk. I mean, I can move the desk accordingly and make more space, but it weirdly, it fits perfectly. Uh, there's like an inch out of the side, so I don't know how I've managed to do that or how it's worked out like that, but even so, it does feel a lot bigger. Definitely feels more spacious anyway in terms of where I sit. And um, in terms of the weaknesses that I've just found briefly, of course, um, I think the unlimited adjustability is a bit of a pain in the backside, if I'm honest. Every, like, mounting this wheel, I, I, I mounted the wheel and then I found that it was too high. So trying to lower it, it's just a pain in the backside because it can go to any height because it's basically in the runners. You just choose your height. But then you've got to do both sides. I had a spirit level there. And, it, yeah, it's just a giant pain. And I do find it annoying. Uh, personally, I like the notches. So, like, the pedals have the notches on. Uh, you will see that in the build. I find that much better than the ultimate uh, unlimited adjustability. But, obviously, that's, you know, people uh, like different things. That's just my personal opinion other people will say that's a huge positive um but that's just my first impression of that um so the, the wheel's on you can tell it's on can't move it but uh, one thing that is uh noticeably different so on my um art cockpit basically there's uh there's some like rubber things right behind the tdt and then it pushes right up against that this leaves a small gap there now it's on securely you know with the bolts underneath there well it's just a, a notice or a spot that i had um i personally like you know proper sealed gap so just a kind of small irritation but nothing major i'll forget about that instantly i suppose um the the plastic bits on on these so you can't quite see it on camera um uh, i mean i could take this one off i, I believe um i don't know no, it's quite on there now but the middle part isn't but basically i, I did talk about this just before in the video um did <laughs> they just don't fit properly like i look at them now and there's a the, it arches it's really annoying it, <laughs> like the smaller ones fit 
Uh, the bigger ones, uh, there's just a small arch. It's, it's just frustrating. I, it feels like they could be better, to be honest. Um, and, you know, there, there's no general rule in terms of where they go other than if it's a three length, it goes on the three. If it's a four, it's a four. If it's a one, it's a one. Um, so, yeah, the, the threes are the ones that arch the most. The fours are the same. The ones fit fine. Um, you know, you just hammer them in because basically it's just a square with a centerpiece. But the threes especially, they're arching like crazy. Um, but that's my first impressions of this rig, to be honest. I mean, I've got loads of adjustability. I'd say it's very sturdy. Um, so, I, I mean, I'm looking around now. I'm not looking at the camera, of course, because I'm just looking if there's any other issues. i say the pedal adjustment, actually. The pedals. Let me just talk about the pedals briefly. That adjustment, I, I did mention just before, very good adjustment, okay? Um, I like the fact I can move it accordingly. I can actually move the pedals all the way down. So, they're on the top line at the moment. I could move them lower down to be like my previous one. But I've raised them a little bit here. Um, just for, you know, just to try it out. It's not a pedal position I'm used to, to be honest. So I will give that a whirl. Now, just to say the difference is, because as I mentioned at the very start of this video, uh, it's a review product. It's not the final product. Now, the final product is already out. A lot of people will have already done uh, videos on this. Um, I've just been a bit late just due to work. Um, but essentially, the product is black. It's not the silver that I've got it in. Um, it's in black and... Uh, so that is one difference uh, there straight off the bat. Now, in terms of how you get this product, so if you don't want to wait for my review, um, here's what they offer with this. It's free shipping. There is a gear mount. You'll have seen that in the build. Uh, the gear mount is huge. You can fit two on here. Uh, I've got to be honest. Uh, maybe it is for two. I don't know, but it's absolutely massive. Um, I'm tempted to put uh, a keyboard on there, if I'm honest. Uh, now, it's not as big as a keyboard, but, <laughs> you know, it covers enough space that it would cover the keyboard. I mean, it's probably half of this um, over here. And, yeah, <laughs> easily, <laughs> it's over half of that uh, size of keyboard. Uh, and it comes with a five-year warranty as well, I believe. So that's a nice warranty um, to have. Uh, personally, I would want uh, caster wheels on. So ever since I put caster wheels on that rig over there, um, that's perfect because I, I was able to move that out nice and easy. I would want caster wheels on this as well. Uh, maybe I can put them on because it's only a screw thing. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, now, in terms of price, so obviously... GT Amiga are offering this as the cheapest aluminium frame on the market. Obviously, we've seen some of these sturdy cockpits from um, uh, Simlad and other uh, other companies as well. And um, you know that that is the case at the moment. They sh they showed me the price, and it's like, well, yeah, <laughs> you're not wrong there. I still think it's quite expensive uh, for a rig. So um, the price for the cockpit alone, not this RS9 seat. I kept calling it RS09. I had no idea why. RS9 seat is five hundred and seventy pounds. Um, uh, that's seven hundred and forty dollars. Uh, and but with the seat, it's up at seven hundred and twenty pounds, or nine hundred and twenty dollars, or just under that. It's like five cents, five pence off, essentially. Um, so I still think that's quite expensive. Now I paid that sort of price for that rig over there. That's one of my. That's my very first proper rig. That's an RTR one. Um, that was definitely not worth the price. This feels far better than that. That uh, the art cockpit is much cheaper um to get um so that's what i'm really comparing it against at the moment it's a, a comparison with a similar product from the own uh, that you know the same company basically uh you know i've got the art cockpit over there i've now got this prime rig so yeah let's let's test it for a month and i'll give you my full and honest review after that month's time so we're looking around about january second week of january you'll get a full review of this um but as i say that's going to be it from me folks it's been a review i did get sent the product for free i did talk about that at the start uh, but as always, with any products I get, I give an honest review. It's my honest opinion. Um, I always say that to the company as well. I always say, don't send something if you don't want to hear my honest opinion. So that is going to be that. But as I say, an interesting video. Let me test out this Prime Rig for a month. You're going to see it in many videos coming up over the next month. Uh, and I'll let you know my opinion. But uh, as always, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in another video or live stream very soon.